Hey everybody, it's Oscar Sketches. Um, I don't know what kind of video I want to make for you today. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a bit, but uh, uh, I, I don't know if I want to sketch or like show some progress on the commission I've been working on. Say uh, a little uh, coyote plush. Um, I definitely want to do an unboxing because I've got something really exciting right here. Um, other than that, uh, I, I don't know. I've also been thinking maybe you want to show some of my plants because I've done something for them, with them. I don't really know how to describe it, but uh, and there's some really exciting new leaves and such that I would love to share. Um, I I don't know. Uh, I think maybe I'll start with some uh, um, backstory for this little uh, little thing that I've ha that I have over here. Um, <laughs> it's a. a as uh, you may have noticed is that I've been making stuffed animals because uh, I really like stuffed animals. I uh, actually made this one recently. It's a little silver fox. Um, it is available for sale if you go to my Instagram if you want to if you want to uh, get this one. Uh, it's really nice, I think. Um, but you know I've been making making things like that. Um, and I've been doing uh, plush commissions especially. I haven't been able to sell any pre-made plush yet. Um, but of making plush commissions like this, and uh, that's been going really well. Uh, and if you uh, have been watching for a while, you know that I've, I've done art commissions before. I've done uh, paintings for people. Uh, I've done digital uh, things. I've, I've, I've drawn people's pets. I've drawn D&D uh, &D stuff. I've, I've even drawn a um, family crest you know, a bunch of different things that I've done. Uh, and it's all been fun. Um, but I usually would get maybe one, two commissions a year, if that. Um, so it's never really been a way for me to like uh, earn money, I guess, on my own. Um, you know, just a little bit here and there, which has been really good. And I'm very, very thankful for everybody who has commissioned me. Um, but since I started making custom plushies, people actually want to get what I have to make, which is pretty insane to me, honestly. <laughs> um, but I'm very, very glad that I've been able to make things that people like and people uh, want to have. Um, so as a result of that, I've actually been making a bit of money uh, the past couple of months. Um, not a huge amount or anything, but it's, it's much bigger than anything that I thought I'd be able to make by myself because um, if you knew yeah if you don't know um, I uh, am very physically disabled to a point where I would not be able to work any normal job um, so I'd kind of given up the idea of, of ever being able to have a job or even go to school and study to get one because uh, it's just it's way too much I can't uh, you know maybe I'll, I'll uh, do it for a week or two and I'm, I'll do really really well but then after that I am just done and I can't go and do any more for however long <laughs> um, so that's been uh, as, as I've been getting worse and worse over the years that's uh, you know it hasn't been fun I'll say I haven't completely given up the idea that I'm never going back to school but for now it seems like it's pretty impossible so um to have something like this where you know even if it stops after this month if i never get another commission again to have been able to have earned a little bit of money by myself is uh, i don't even know how to describe it but the the independence uh boost i guess that gives would is is really really nice um because, gosh, my laptop fan, I don't know why, but it's always going. <laughs> anyway, um, excuse the noise. It's just, gosh, I can't even describe how much it means to me. Um, especially, you know, because I've had to move back in with my parents because I can't physically take care of myself, which sucks as like a recently turned 23 year old. Um, I should very much like to be living on my own and going to school and, you know, hanging out with friends, things like that. Um, but I can't. Um, but now I have at least the means to, to make things people love, which is really cool. 
to make things that are like, you know really special to, to somebody um that means a lot to me uh and you know then to be able to earn a little bit of money whilst doing something that i love um that is crazy uh very crazy to me and you know my dream for the future would be i guess now i have a dream for the future which i did not have before um would be maybe you know if i could make enough to pay rent for a a little studio um where i could just you know store all my 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 fabrics and uh, all the supplies that i need my sewing machine and, and things and then to be able to go from here home to there whenever i have enough energy to work um be able to you know to make my own uh plushies for people um and like being able to work at my own pace uh work the hours that feel okay for me and my body at that time um it would be insane i would love that very much um for now i'm having so much fun just doing it from my bedroom but uh if you know i've never had really like uh, at least not since i i stopped going to school um like a an idea or a plan for the future uh, at, at some point i don't know why i'm telling you all of this um but that, that's what the youtube's about like this is why i do youtube is to talk about this stuff uh, anyway <laughs> you're probably wondering what's in the box well um i earned just enough to buy what was in this box um which is one of my dream plushies i guess i guess you could call it um because <laughs> uh um i've uh seen this one online and i've dreamt about having it but it's ridiculously expensive because it's a stife plush um and stife if you don't know is like the the gucci of stuffed animals is how i like to describe it <laughs> they're all handmade and they're very pretty i think they're handmade um they're very pretty but you're pray you're paying mostly for the brand name i think um which i usually don't really care about um what brands my plushes are from because i'm just like oh this one looks cute uh I, I would love to have this one. Oh, this one looks cute i'd love to have that one uh unfortunately this one looked very very cute to me um <laughs> and was also very very expensive <laughs> so you know it would just like i would look at it at the listing on whatever websites and just be like man that's a cool plush but I'm never going to be able to get it. Um, <laughs> well, guess what? Here he is. Here he is. Um, which is crazy. Uh, it does help a lot that I got him at 50% off. I got a very good deal. Um, it's still ridiculously expensive, but it's not as ridiculously expensive as it could have been. Um, but I, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Um, that I've been able to save up um, from, uh, you know, especially not just money that like, um, you know, people have given to me out of pity or something. <laughs> this is money that I've earned by myself for the first time in my life, uh, except like maybe five euro here and there for like doing chores for neighbors and such, but like the first money that I've ever been able to earn by myself um and being able to spend by myself like my own decision this is like my first paycheck i guess you could say um which i never thought i'd, I'd have and that's um i don't know it's not like I, I lack anything like my parents take really good care of me and i have all that i could possibly ask for um but it's it's you know it's really nice obviously to have this really cool big plush but it's um it's more to me at least uh, it's more about the idea um of having done this by myself and being able to do this by myself because so much i haven't been able to do in so long um and you know just more and more things uh have become inaccessible to me over the years so <laughs> This just means a lot and I'm very happy 
I'm also still very nervous because I have OCD as well and that's just telling me I get scammed, I'm getting scammed, it's a scam, it's not it's too good to be true. Um, but I've got a really big box here, I, uh, I made sure the website was, uh, you know, trustworthy or at least as trustworthy as I think it, uh, you know, I could have could have made sure. But obviously you don't know until you get the, the thing delivered to you but, you know, and I think it might be about time that we open this box. I this feels unreal to me, seriously. I um anyway, I I don't know why I decided to film this, but I really wanted to film this. Um, <laughs> I think just because, well, because all the, the the things that I uh, explained just now, right? because of everything I just said because um, it means a lot to me and I think it's nice to, to capture this moment because um, uh, it might be a bit too much um, but I've been struggling a lot um, mentally especially because uh, I I talked about this uh, in well, a couple of the journal videos probably um, uh, but I am um, I repressed a lot of childhood trauma um, and I'm digging everything up in therapy at, at the moment um, and it's getting to a point where my PTSD is just like off the charts and it's not fun um, so I don't know what I was saying uh, but it's been hard um, and I think this is really nice to be able to do this, this for myself <laughs> Okay, moment of truth. Is he in here? He is in here. Oh, he is in here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There he is. Oh my, oh, my days. Oh, he's huge. Guys, he's huge. Oh, oh he's, he's so much bigger than I thought. Oh. Look at this guy. That's his head. Oh, he's, this is the biggest plush I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my days. I can't believe it. I can't, I paid this, this with my own money. I did this. I did this. He's zip tied. <laughs> oh my gosh. How huge is he? Oh my days! Look at this! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, what the heck? I was thinking he was gonna be at least like 50% smaller. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. This is insane. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, so this is... <laughs> now the price makes more sense to me. <laughs> this is um, the little thing that all the Stife plushes have in their ear. Uh, it's a German brand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this, that post shot for you. It says Knopf in Ohr. I'm pretty sure it says. Um, which means just the, the button in the ear. Oh my gosh. He's huge. He's What? You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Look at that. He's not going to fit on the bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so nice. He's so nice. I've made a really big wolf plush. It's smaller than this. Oh. 
I'm about to cry. Are you kidding? Oh, wow. Look at that. He's got such cute little details. Like, that's adorable. Look at this tail. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This is so cool. You're kidding. You're kidding. Look at that. The stripes are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so, okay, like, little tangent. It's so hard to find tiger plushes with pretty stripes on them. Because uh, usually what happens is is people get, like, com companies, they get this fabric um, that's just striped fabric uh, and just make all, they, like, airbrush them on. Um, but they never really lie, line up uh, as well um, or, like, resemble real tigers. Um, I have one. I'll say I've got another um, white tiger plush. Uh, I really like the stripes on this guy. I was thinking... I was thinking this guy was going to be as big as this guy. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. The size difference in just the head. Just the head. Are you are you joking? That is insane. Look at this. Look at this. I still can't believe this. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, these are probably the best stripes that I've seen on a tiger plush. They really, really resemble actual tigers very well. Um, this one is more stylized, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it still looks really, really nice. Like, if you look at plushes, um, at most tiger plushes, you're not gonna get, uh, stripes that have, that, you know, differ this much. Um, and, uh, I like line up as well, especially on the back. Like, these line up. I think these were, I like... Uh, I don't know if these are like airbrushed on um, or like just lined up very well. Um, but even on this guy, uh, like they line up very well, but you get bits like this that doesn't line up, like here, right there. Because these are much cheaper, these are a much cheaper make. Um, they're still very pretty, I like these sorts of plushes. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this is insane. I can't believe, I can't believe it's this big. I can't believe it. Like, of course they like list how large they are on the website, but they just give length, right? And these are roughly, I want to say roughly the same length. Maybe this one is a little bit, lar little bit larger. Um, but if you look like, here's the paw. <laughs> here's the paws, they, they, uh, ooh, they, if you stretch them out, they roughly the same, and then the butt ends around the same spot as well. But oh my gosh, this one's so much bigger. This one is so much bigger. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not saying that much. I'm just freaking out. This is so cool. I bought this guy with my own money. I did this. I am so <laughs> proud of myself. Ah, you're kidding. <laughs> you're kidding. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's got two tags on him. Look, there's, this, there's another stife one. Oh, and there's another one. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. If I'd seen this guy in the store, I... <laughs> I might have been a, a bit more prepared for how huge he is, but this is crazy. Oh my goodness. It's like an actual tiger. I think actual tigers are still quite a bit bigger, but still. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, he's so gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. Oh. Dude. Oh, he's so nice. He's so nice. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> am i gonna clean this thing because normally i i put them in the washing machine i don't think this is gonna fit <laughs> um we'll figure that out when we get there <laughs> wow goodness i'm i'm speechless <laughs> this is so cool thank you so much genuinely thank you so much to everybody who's gotten a plush from me um i don't think uh, this would have, this, I, I, I don't even have to speculate, this would not have been possible without you. 
Okay, so I discovered he has a little bit of a hole in his neck, so I'm gonna sew him up. Um, and I think I might want to do just a tiny bit of thread sculpting. Ooh. Gosh, he's so large. He's bombing the tripod. Um, let's see, where was it? Gosh, I still I cannot believe this right here. Ooh. Gosh, this is insane. Isn't he just gorgeous? Wow, <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. Goodness. All right, come on. This is legitimately the biggest plush I've ever seen. I'm still in shock. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I thought I was getting something that was a reasonable size. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> Gosh. The next thing I'm going to be saving up for um, is my other dream plush. I've got two. Um, the other one is quite a bit more expensive. Um, so that one will be a, a long term goal. Um, but that is um, uh, a really, really big wolf. Um, I think, honestly, might even be similar size to this guy um, uh, from uh, Hansa Creation. Uh, and if anybody knows anything about Hansa Creation, but it's a beautiful um, brand, or they, or they make beautiful products. Um, from I think mostly recycled materials, um, they make uh, very realistic looking plushes and they have this really really huge wolf that is so gorgeous and I have um, a little wolf, this the wolf wolf puppy um, and the other one uh, is is like the, the mother I guess, <laughs> mama wolf, uh, I want to get mama wolf <laughs> so bad. Um, but I've been ever since like I discovered Han, so that was one of the plushes that I was like, man, if only. <laughs> and now, if only, might actually be possible at some point. Um, not like nearly as soon as a couple months, but maybe someday uh, if I save up. Of course, I've got to have to, you know, invest in. Uh, um, some materials as well like I can't use all the money to save for things like this um, but I can I can save a good chunk <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy <laughs> all right it's all sewn up How large is he compared to me? This is insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> there, like you never had one in the first place. Uh, scissors. Now, your face, because <laughs> on the promotional pictures, he looks a little bit more like this. So I want to pinch these points and I might want to pinch right here as well to give him a little bit more of that um, cute look because now he's got a very fat face. <laughs> Ooh, there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but I prefer the way that it looked in the, in the promotional pictures. So I want to do a little bit of this very subtly, very subtly like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have to get a good view of this. Oh. Goodness. 
You are a poor. All right, all right. I, can't, I still can't believe this. This is insane. Oh. Let me see your pretty face. <laughs> Oh, I might need a bigger needle. <laughs> Normally this works very well for thread sculpting, but he has got a ooh, big face. Okay, that's okay. There we go. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, That's fine. Okay, Ooh. Oh, he's so big. <laughs> yes. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> that face a little bit of shape and definition not too much just subtle enough there you go there you go okay, I think I want to do this too yeah Put, big boy. <laughs> oh my days, dude. Oh wow. Oh, can we get there? I think so. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Got it, got it. Alright, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Come on. Let me enter that bed. Thankfully, it's very fuzzy, so you're not going to be able to see any of this at all even usually threat sculpting is very um what, what would you call it like subtle i guess um but sometimes uh you get whoop, some like indentations or something like you see it's not ugly or anything but it could be pretty okay right here it's right there Oof. come on And start my finger. All right, come on. Thread sculpting really is an arm workout sometimes. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. And now back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oof. I'm gonna be shaking off this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. There you go. Oof. Watch those paws. 
yours, mister. All right. There you go. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Ooh. This guy's a liability. <laughs> Don't get pet tigers, not even plush ones. <laughs> oh, I watched this, um, I don't want to say it's a documentary, more like a reality television program about people that get like really dangerous exotic pets. Pets, say with, a, with heavy air quotes, like bears, tigers, lions, things like that. I'm like, why would you even put yourself in that position? That is insanely dangerous. And you'll see them like hand feeding them and like cuddling up with them. I'm like, and they'll be saying like, yeah, this is a wild animal that could kill me at any moment and then do some incredibly risky things with them. Um, and you know, no shade or anything if that's the way you want to go out. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Like, get a plush tiger. <laughs> I feel like if you really love these animals, you wouldn't do that to them, you know? Oof. Let's see, is there any other threat sculpting we want to do? Not this, because that looks silly. Um, I don't want to make that either. Like this. No. Like that. Mm. I don't think so. I think he's nice like this. Oh, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I certainly can tell the difference. That looks very, very good. It's only like, uh, like, like two pinches. Like I pinched him here and I pinched him there, and that looks so much better. I think, at least personally, in my personal opinion. In my personal opinion, gosh. Oh, he's crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, this is not a collector's item for me. This is just a. Like any other plush, I'm not gonna treat this guy any different than I do my other plushes. So, sorry, uh, collectors, but the tag's gonna go, and he's gonna get cuddled a lot. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Um, this is in crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm leaving the tag room for now because it's gonna be a pain to cut them off. Okay. Oh no, just that. Oh, anchor this a little bit. And cut the tail. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Goodness. Goodness. Ugh. Okay, I can't even. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, right, that's fine. Ugh, ow. <laughs> Plushes get exponentially more physically demanding to make the larger they are. <laughs> off. Snip this off. There we go. Oh, he's gorgeous, dude. Oh, I'm so glad I got him without any trouble. Because, um, seriously, my, I was, when I ordered him, I felt a little bit sick. Because I was like, oh, what if I get scammed? That I just throw away that amount of money? I've never bought anything this expensive before. Um, but everything went well. Everything went well. <laughs> Dude, oh, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to say anymore. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh. What a darling what a darling i love um how they did his face especially with the the additional thread sculpting i just i think he's so it's like he's got such a cute face look at that so cute like the perfect balance between cute and realistic i think in my personal opinion oh he's so cute oh i love him i love him <laughs> oh goodness Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Look at that. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. <laughs> I have 
um, a, a one other Stife plush, which is the smaller version of this guy. Um, a smaller version. It's uh, it's not the same uh, in terms of like the pose and the face and such. Um, but it's their other white tiger. Um, this one's called Tuin, and that one's called Barat. Oh, let me grab him. Right here. Um, <laughs> this one was also ridiculously expensive for the size it is. Um, but it was nowhere near this kind of price. <laughs> but look how tiny he is compared to this one. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. Gosh. I'm not a fan of overpriced things, like uh, paying for a, uh, a brand uh, label on your plush or anything, like, but, uh, you know, with these guys, I don't know, I, I really like the style, um, I do think they're overpriced, um, but I, uh, I would have gotten them anyway without, if they, you know, uh, if they didn't have like the the stife label on it so i don't know what that means uh <laughs> i just i think they are very very cute and that the quality is very high um even though this one did have a, a little bit of a hole that happens sometimes with you know any kind of blush um i think uh they like at least from the ones that i've gotten so far um there's some very very beautiful uh plushes in their collection anyway um these guys I highly recommend um if you have uh if you if you really really want them um i think and, and if you can afford them i would recommend them um other than that uh, you can get other plush tigers that are nowhere near this price range um i don't remember exactly how much he was i think it was like a hundred maybe a little bit more um this guy i got him at 50 percent off for 300 euro um uh, normally he goes for like 600 if not more um which is crazy so i really do think for stipe you're paying for the pro for the um uh for the the brand um so i don't really get that like i i would understand like if they're extremely exclusive and there's only a few hundred in the world or something um like sure uh vintage stuff and like collectors things they exist um but this is clearly meant to be a consumer product um from like the way that it's listed and sold and like it's um advertised as something that is specifically for children um which I don't know what parent has that that amount of money to spend on a child. Maybe some people do. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm up here on my high horse and I, while holding this this thing, like it's clearly it was worth it for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know is the thing. But I do want to talk about it. I think. <laughs> don't slide off. Ah. <laughs> Because um, there is a, uh, there's also there's like lots of other brands that um, people collect things from, like the the Beanie Babies tie, I think. Um, there's some ones that that uh, that store is actually really cool because they have some, uh, they really have ones that are very 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 uh, rare, and there's only a couple ones in the world because the owner couldn't decide on which like eye color they wanted, so. <laughs> they would make a batch with green eyes and a batch with blue eyes and then uh you know they m then produced it with like yellow eyes or something um so then there's the yellow eyes variant and then there's the blue eyes variant and then there's the green eyes variant and one of those only has like a couple paid um which i think that's very cool um as somebody who really appreciates those subtle differences as you know very autistic so i see them <laughs> and notice them but, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's actual merit there for Stife. I mean, admittedly, I haven't looked that much into it. Um, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I'm being so mean. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Isn't he so 
so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I have enough to make a YouTube video out of all of that, but um, I hope so. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, thanks for watching and thank you to everybody who's uh, made this dream come true. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, thank you. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend, guys, and, and keep on sketching. Sorry I didn't sketch anything in this video. Uh, hopefully the next one. All right. Bye.